All right. Uh, hi, guys. Jake in here. So today we're going to be talking about the book, The One Thing. Uh, this book is written by Keller Gary. And I think this is one of the books that is very essential for those that are not able to focus on a certain thing or a certain aspect in their lives, uh, especially in the modern era where there's so many options out there for you to choose. It is more important than ever for you to learn to focus on one thing. Uh, if you are trying to succeed in life, uh, you will never get anywhere unless you have the ability to choose one path and to stick to it for a long period of time. And that requires focus. And even I, um, as I progress through life, I find it extremely difficult for me to focus on one thing because there are so many distractions out there and so many options out there for me to choose from. So this book um, tells us the importance of choice and the importance of focus. Uh, of course, there are so very many ideas and concepts in this book, which I will not be able to uh, cover the whole thing. Uh, but I, I am um, going to go through three of the main lessons and concepts that I have learned from this book, and I hope you guys find it useful as well. So the first area that I will be uh, covering is uh, debunking lies. So what is debunking lies? Um, the book says there are six lies. Uh, the six lies are beliefs that get into our heads and become operational principles driving us the wrong way. Then we start basing important decisions on them. So, um, you know, we can adopt certain lies that are counterproductive and that are not beneficial for uh, giving us the right perspective on our life. And I think we adopt very many lies on a certain level. And this book addresses th six of uh, these lies that we are we easily adopt. Um, and these six lies are, uh, first one, everything matters equally. Second, multitasking. Third, a disciplined life. Fourth, willpower is always in will call. Fifth, a balanced life. And sixth, big is bad. So I'm not going to go over all six lies, but in particular, I would like to highlight two of the lies that I have learned from this book uh, because um, these two lies were in particular grounded in my everyday life. So uh, the first lie is everything matters equally. And that is the lie that I will be going over right now. So the book says, when everything feels urgent and important, everything seems equal. We become active and busy, but this doesn't actually move us any closer to success. Activity is often unrelated to productivity, and busyness rarely takes care of business. So what is this talking about? Uh, this is talking about how everything is not uh, important in our lives. So uh, we... Uh, are very reactive creatures and every time there is an urgent task at hand we will react to it uh, instinctually and uh, as we progress through life I think it is difficult for us to actually prioritize what is very actually important in our lives in the long run because right now in the short run there is always going to be issues and um, areas in our lives that we have to take care of right now, which is going to call for urgency and uh, which is going to make us focus on those issues uh, immediately. Uh, this will prohibit us from actually focusing on the important things in our lives and uh, force us to react in a reactional manner. I think this lie was particularly uh, interesting uh, for me because I found myself never feeling urgent about the long-term goals but rather everything that is short-term that I need to do urgently and that is not going to contribute to the long-term goals has always 
proved to be feeling more urgent for me personally because you know uh, you won't die the survival survival of your day-to-day -day life is not directly linked to your long-term purpose it never is because um, you know uh, for example you have work you have a job you have a family you have children to look after you have a wife that you're together with and when these things come to you then you won't be able to focus on the long-term goals because those things always are at your face those things call for your attention immediately all the time so unless you prioritize your work and your long-term goals and purposes you will never be able to cut out time sufficient time to actually focus on them you can be very efficient in doing your day-to-day -day job in doing your chores in doing all the things that are uh, calling your attention right now immediately but you know you it's about doing the right things and not about doing things right so he talks about the 80 20 rule for this line so how uh, the majority of what you want will come come from the minority of what you do so the 80 20 rule says uh, the 20 percent will be responsible for majority of the outcome that you want to create so for you to be effective you have to find the 20 percent of the 20 percent of the 20 percent you know you have to dig down until you get to the single most important thing in your life so this for a practical example i can give you uh, if i was to start a youtube channel that i'm doing right now what must i do to be successful at it of course there is a bazillion things that i can focus on but i have to dig down and actually look into what is going to produce the biggest results and actually focus on that one thing to start a YouTube and be successful at it, I can maybe start watching hundreds of YouTube videos. Maybe I can start buying expensive equipments and maybe I can go to a filming school. Maybe I can uh, record myself doing this right now. Maybe I can start a blog. Maybe I can start a podcast. Uh, there's so many things out there, so many options for me to choose from. But I need to actually think through the things that I have to focus on and do that one thing to focus on that one thing because not everything is going to be equally important as I said so uh, I have to throw away the concept that everything is important I have to understand that I must prioritize certain things above other things for me to focus yep so that's the first lie and the second lie that I will be covering in this video is the lie of a disciplined life so discipline i assume is a word that everyone has heard so many times throughout the years because especially after the social media everybody all the influencers all the successful people are calling for a disciplined life everybody says discipline is the most important thing for you to have success in your life and uh, without discipline you will not get anywhere you know i'm sure everybody has heard some version of this message but um this book says uh, something a little bit different from that concept so uh, the book says contrary to what most people believe success is not a marathon of disciplined action achievement doesn't require you to be a full-time disciplined person where your every action is trained and where control is the solution to every situation success is actually a short race a sprint fueled by discipline just long enough for habit to kick in and take over yeah so the book is saying the habit forming aspect is much more important than actually being disciplined so um, you know the trick to success is to choose the right habit and bring just enough discipline to establish it i think this is true uh, in most uh, situations because if you think of it uh, you will not be able to live a disciplined life all your life that's just not going to be realistic because how are you going to generate the willpower to do the right thing every time every day every morning every night 
that's going to you know kind of be a toll on your willpower and it's going to be difficult in the long run you could have uh, motivation to be disciplined for maybe one month two months maybe one year but like think of a, just a disciplined life of just trying to do the right thing every time every day that's going to be pretty much difficult or borderline impossible so this book uh, suggests that you form a habit first and that will drive your efficiency and effectiveness in doing your work by forming a habit it won't be necessary for you to draw on discipline to rely on discipline to do your work uh, but rather you know once you have formed the habit you will not need discipline to do your job but rather rely on the habitual things like um, the habitual things that you can do without too much effort all right that's the first concept of this book that i have shared is debunking lies and the second concept uh, that i would like to share with you is the one thing question so this comes to the root of the uh, the book uh, the main concept that this book is trying to tell you what is the one thing question uh, we tend to overanalyze and overthink over uh, plan our lives our businesses our careers but uh, instead he suggests that we uh, ask ourselves uh, this focusing question what's the one thing that i can do such that by doing it everything else will be easier or unnecessary so uh, what is this question about uh, this question is about uh, finding that one thing that is actually going to bring the biggest results right uh, the concept that I have uh, talked over previously about everything doesn't matter equally. It's kind of the same concept. Uh, it's kind of the same message, but it kind of uh, gives it a very clear question that you have to answer. So, for example, the book says you have to find the one thing for your big picture. And then you have to drill down and find the one thing for every day, the small focus things. So, for example, what is your purpose? What is the big picture purpose and goal in your life? Maybe it's, start, it's to start a YouTube. Maybe it's to start a business. Maybe it's some other goals that you find is the most important in your life. You need to first find that one thing that you have to focus on. And once you identify that one thing, the big picture thing, you have to break the big picture down into a smaller portion and you know you you will have a whole lot of options that you can take in order to take you to that big picture goal but even then you have to break it down again the 80 20 rule you know the 20 of the 20 of the 20 and find the one specific small task that you have to do right now today in order to take you to that big picture for example if i am starting a youtube like i said there are so many options that i can take but uh, I have to ask myself, what's the one thing that is going to take me there the fastest? So maybe it's about making connections with the right people. Maybe that is going to be the one thing for me that is going to take my career fastest and that will allow me to grow most effectively and efficiently. So identify your big picture one thing, whatever that is, and then break that thing down into actionable steps, actionable options, and find what is the one thing even within that array of options for you to take so that you can focus and start doing implementing right away all right so uh, once you find that one thing uh, what is the third concept uh, the third concept that i will be sharing is how to achieve the one thing so once you have found your one thing how are you going to achieve it there are, of course, many ideas and many steps that you can take, and the book provides many options, but I will be sharing a few of them, the first of which is purpose-driven life. So it says who we are and where we want to go determine what we do and what we accomplish. Uh, purpose is the straightest path to power and the ultimate source of personal strength, strength of conviction, and strength to persevere. So I think every successful person always talk, talks about purpose-driven life, a purpose. 
And I think that's because it acts as a fuel for your actions and a fuel for your goals and your motivations. Without purpose, um, you could have great goals, you could have great motivation for a short period, but for it to go on for 10 years, for 20 years, uh, you have to establish a purpose in your life because that is going to be the fuel for your goals. So uh, the second step you must take for you to get to the one thing is mastery. Uh, mastery is working on uh, your skills and committing to be your best. I think mastery is one of the key aspects that you have to think through in your life because no matter what you do, you have to have mastery over it. You have to create a value, a certain skill set that you can uh, confidently say that you are good at, that you are better at than others. You don't need to necessarily be world class or the best at the thing, but you at least have to try to be the best at uh, what you do because that is going to provide you uh, with the power and with the skill sets that will propel you forward and finally uh, you have to overcome the fear of chaos i think this was very personal for me because i found i don't like chaos very much and chaotic situations and circumstances caused me to back down every time because I hate chaos. I want to be in control. I want to be um, in, uh, you know, yeah, in control all the time. But that is just simply unrealistic. You have to adopt, you have to accept the fact that you're not going to be in control all the time if you are going to go the path of successful life because every successful venture uh, requires and is uh, inevitable that you will come to contact with certain chaotic moments and unless you are okay with those moments uh, you will every time you will back down so for example if you were to start a business you know of course no business is just going to say from one to ten you're going to just sail through it without any problems and issues of course you're going to go through so much failures and difficulties until you reach a certain threshold so no matter what you do you have to understand there are going to be moments of chaotic situations and you have to learn to adopt it and go through those uh, moments and learn to deal with it so i have shared with you the three concepts uh, that i've learned from this book uh, in conclusion I think this is an essential read for those that lack focus and drive. Uh, I hope this review uh, allows you to go and find this book and read it for yourselves because it's very helpful in learning how to focus. Yep, that's it. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.